Hello and welcome to the how to guide of unsigned binary division brought to you today by Point to note. Unsigned refers to positive values only. There are two approaches to binary division. The repeated subtraction approach and the shift and subtract approach. Binary division by repeated subtraction. Set quotient to zero. We will repeat while dividend is greater than or equal to divisor. It has two operations. Subtract divisor from dividend, add 1 to the quotient. The end of the repeat block quotient is correct, the dividend is the remainder. If that is correct, we will stop. A worked example. Here we have a dividend 1001 0, 0, 1, and our divisor 1 1. Step 1. Set the quotient to 0. Step 2. Repeat while the dividend is greater than or equal to the divisor. Two operations. Subtract the divisor from the dividend. This is shown in the illustration below. Next, we add 1 to the quotient. We are repeating these steps. Here you see below in the illustration and we will repeat while the dividend is greater than or equal to the divisor. Remember in these operations we are subtracting the divisor from the dividend and adding 1 to the quotient. And we continue this and the end of the replete block quotient is correct. The dividend is the remainder. At this stage we will stop. Here now is a quiz to test your knowledge. Binary di division by shift and subtract. Basically, the reverse of the multiply by shift and add. For our first step, we will set the quotient to 0. For step 2, we will align the leftmost digit in the dividend and the divisor. This is being illustrated here. For step 3, we will repeat. Once again, please follow the illustration. If that portion of the dividend above the divisor is greater than or equal to the divisor, then subtract the divisor from that portion of the dividend and put the result of the subtraction 1 to the right hand end of the quotient. If the result is a 0, place a 0 to the right hand end of the quotient. Then we will shift the divisor 1 place right and we will repeat until the dividend is less than the divisor and the quotient is correct. The dividend is the remainder and we can see once again we are being shown here in the illustration. Paying attention to our steps. This illustration will show us a brief outline of what we should be working toward. And once again, it will take the form of a quiz. Step 1 Here we are dividing 100001 by 11 or 30. 
33 divided by 3 in decimal. Our first step is to write it in the long division form. Since 1 1 has two bits, digits, we look at the first two bits of 1 0 0 0 0 1 and we ask the question, can 1 1 go into 1 0? No. So we move one digit to the right. Step two. Next, we can ask the question, can 1 1 go into 1 0 0? Yes. Exactly one as shown. So we put a one in the quotient above the one zero zero. Subtract and carry down the next bit. Note that we have to do some borrowing to do the subtraction. If you're not familiar with binary subtraction, please review this concept. Step 3. Moving 1 place over, can 1 1 go into 1 0? No. So we record a 0 in the quotient and carry down the next bit as seen here in the left hand side of the screen. Moving over another place, we ask again, can 1 1 go into 1 0 0? Yes. So we record a 1 in the quotient as seen here in the right part of the screen. Subtract and carry down the next bit. Once again, remove another place. Can 1, 1 go into 1, 1? Again, the answer is yes. So we record another 1 and subtract. Since the result of the subtraction is zero, we're done and we have an exact answer. One zero 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 divided by one one will give us one zero one one or thirty three divided by three in decimal. Now let's look at a further example. Here we are dividing one zero 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 one by one zero zero or 33 divided by 4 in decimal. We follow our first step by writing it in a long division form and remembering to carry out our subtraction as we go. In quotient, remember that we have more than one way to represent the answer. It can be represented in the quotient remainder form or in the fractional form. If the number is not a whole number, we can add a radix point. This is the equivalent of a decimal point, but of course we don't call it a decimal point in other bases. Here we see an example of the division inclusive of the radix point. Note that we carry out the steps in a similar fashion as stated in the previous slide. Now you can choose to ignore the radix point without affecting the overall answer. However, for precision, this is not advisable. Here once again we see our steps are being carried out with our subtraction and we see our final results as zero as stated in other slides. Now please remember that you can have your answer in more than one form. You can have it in the quotient remainder form or in a fractional form. If the dividend, the 100 zero zero in this example, had a radix point in it, move the radix point in both dividend and divisor to the right an equal number of places sufficient to remove it from the divisor. For example, to divise 11001.1 by 11.001, first move the radix points right three places. You'll have to add zeros to the dividend, then divide. Now, we will encourage you to take part in our little quiz. Check it one for Charlie Hustle, two for Steady Rock 
three for the four come alive, future shot. It's five dimensions, six senses, seven from a mess of heaven to hell. Eight million stories to tell. Nine planets faithfully keep a 